looking a little bit gray in the Phillips Square. I'm looking a little bit February. Hold on. I'm waiting for the. Waiting oh, for the, oh, the, the oh, Here we go. Red I love. One of the greatest driving songs ever. In fact, I will go out on a limb and say this is the absolute best driving song ever published. No challenge? You're always challenging me. I'm getting too into it. Any one of these? Okay, you shouldn't be doing that. Look what you're doing. Can you, can you, just stay right there. Stay right there. Can you see a side view here? All right. A side view, Lil. What's you, wrong? You sort of see how you're, you're, you're sort of like... Arching? Arching. Straining? Now, I have got... I have had no end of problems... Uh, with, you know, I had back problems, IT neck. band problems, neck, uh, headaches, things like that. IT band, which is here. Which is the side, yeah, the very side of your, your yeah. leg. Yeah. And tell my trainer and my chiropractor have been my best friends because they have all, they have narrowed it down to 20 years of commuting. Right. So an hour sitting, long. Sitting like this each every day, day two hours when you get Sorry, you know, back way. and forth, right? And now, more and more, uh, health experts are starting to see the dangers of commuting, whether it's on a bus, whether it's in a car, even the dangers of sitting at your office all day Or a day bike, long. a lot of people cycling now and you're always hunched. So the one thing you always have to remember with, with driving, I found out, is, is that you just, you want, you want to straighten your body up. Okay. So you want to be aware of it. You, you tend to get like this a lot while you're driving and, and you of stiffen course. up and you stay in that same position for the entire time. You want to shift around, you want to shift your seat every once in a while, but you want your shoulders and your hips to be lined up and you want your chin back. What that, about cruise control when you can on the highway so you can let, let up on your leg a bit? Yeah, it's, 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 that's, one, that's one thing, but it's always good just to keep in mind about, about what you're doing, what's going on. But, but, but if you have these unexplained problems, yeah. my IT band was, was so sore forever and ever and ever. It was always horrible. It was unbearable some days until Dr. Darrell Bosans, who was, who was my chiropractor, had figured it out. It's, it's, apparently, he says Ford seats, Ford, seats in Ford vehicles are notorious for, for problems uh, that all I needed, I, I went to Sharpest Drug Market, I got one of those Obis forms, cushion? the cushion for the bottom, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the seat. Yeah. The problem I've been having, the debilitating problem I've been having went away in a week. Because it was all about the ergonomically it was, it was correct all, It was form. all about that. It was, the seat is designed for comfort. It's very, very comfortable. But it, it, was, it was not designed for proper posture. But we do. We stay in the same position, whether it be commuting or whether it be in the office cubicle for way too, or a desk at home for way too long. And our bodies are meant to move. That's why they say, if you can, get up and walk around at least four or five minutes every hour at your desk. But when you're driving a long well, way in, you have no choice. The, now, Amber had found out that this uh, thing for us. It, it's a seatbelt thing for your desk. It's something you actually wear. So, so Winston oh, cool. has uh, has looked it up for us, and it's actually a Kickstarter campaign. What is it, Winston? It's a Kickstarter campaign. Believe it or not, it has almost a million dollars in pledges. They only wow. needed twelve thousand dollars, fourteen thousand backers. And what it is, it, uh, let me just scroll down here, and you can see it basically aligns your back. It forces your back to go into oh, the right good. position. Nothing like forcing your back. Oh, that's but, good. So there's a demonstration there. It's great for airplanes. It's great for your car, Kevin. But I, I'm going to show you what it basically does because there's really no easy way to show you on your I computer. Want Okay. Thing. It, when you're sitting in your chair, oh, there's the camera. Okay. It like yanks your knee closer to your back, so it forces your your the, your lower back forward, so straight. your spine is in its proper shape. Alignment, it, and the alignment of your spine is everything. And I notice now, if if you see me too, you see in pictures and video, I I I hunch. hunch. Me too. I hunch like this a lot. And if you garden, you're always hunched over. But I, I so I gotta I you have to try and force yourself to to do this. It feels weird feels actually really weird. to have proper posture. But that's when you know you're already going in the other direction of slouching yeah. too much. When it feels weird to be straight. Apple Watch is telling you to get up now. So when you're yeah. sitting in an office, it'll say, hey, you've been sitting down for an hour. Get up. That's right. It tells me that while I'm driving. It says, you've been sitting for an hour. Get up. <laughs> well, but it's actually good advice. You can, advice. You, you can or... pull over. You should pull over once in a while while you're driving and just sort of walk around a, a little bit. So. Especially long drives. People are like, I can go four hours without stopping once as if there's some badge of honor to it. No, no, no. It's not good for your circulation. So if you're having these problems, uh, leg problems, headaches, neck problems, sore shoulders all the time, Consider how you're sitting all day, especially what if you're commuting. What can you do on the plane, though? That's a tough one. There's like no room as it is. You're eating your knees. That thing's not going to work. You go to planes the washroom are... a lot. Take an inside seat and disturb people a oh, lot to get up and go to the washroom. Planes. I well, planes are getting worse because because what, it, it seems every every other flight I get to, they've decided. Oh, I think people could do with less, less leg room. And less and less, less and less. less. Now there are there is a commuter flight in in Ireland uh, where it's standing. People stand on the plane. It's only a, it's only a short flight. It's a short flight. It's a commuter flight. It's like 40 minutes. Is there like a little just, cheater seat? There's, that yeah, pops there's a little out? thing you can lean on, 
but it's standing room only in the Which plane. Which means this is the awkward thing. You can't watch a video, really. You can't eat a snack because well, you're, you're, you're standing. Yeah, you but can't if, you're drink. In, if you're in a commuter plane, you're not watching much of a video, are you? But then you're talking to everybody. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I don't know. You ever sat beside her on a plane? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. If I'm in a chatty mood, it could be pretty. I, I'll stop. 727 like on breakfast television. <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> Talk this way.